My name's Yvonne Hong and I'm the founder and CEO of Pets of the Homeless. So I started Pets of the Homeless when I realised that such a service wasn't available to help people who are going through periods of homelessness or hardship with their pets. It was literally just myself with a suitcase um, full of food and treats and it would just be me walking down the streets of Melbourne every single week to hand them out to anyone in need. Basically I just wanted to do something to make a difference, you know, no matter how small it was. Seven years on we still do the same thing, we still provide assistance with pet food but we we do it at a much larger scale out of our pet food bank in um, Cheltenham, Victoria. On average, we provide around 30,000 meals to over about 55 of our community partner organisations across Victoria. And to date, we have provided over 800,000 meals to feed hungry pets in need. Pets of the Homeless was one of the lucky chosen charities to be part of the Hometown Heroes campaign and the pet stock team did an amazing job to raise awareness and funds for us and in total they've raised over $8,800 for Pets of the Homeless. The donation from the Petspiration Foundation has allowed Pets of the Homeless to plan for a more sustainable future and also allowed us to introduce more exciting initiatives to help the community. We are currently working towards our next BHAG and that's our big, hairy, audacious goal which is to move into a much bigger facility than where we are at the moment to be able to open up um, Victoria's or even Australia's first pet refuge that is dedicated to housing pets belonging to vulnerable people. My name is Jennifer Howard and I'm the founder and CEO of Safe Pets Safe Families. The reason why I started Safe Pets Safe Families is um, I experienced domestic violence and I had to go to a shelter. I couldn't take my um, dogs with me. I was trying to hold on to them. I was at the DV shelter and I was going back to the house and trying to feed them. Um, and I was trying to find a solution for them and I couldn't find a solution for them. And ultimately my dogs ended up at the pound and I assumed that they ended up euthanized. It broke me, <laughs> it, like it completely destroyed me. So it was just like a little, I suppose, like a little fire in my belly that just stayed with me. And I was just like, I need to do something. When I originally started, it was heavily based around domestic violence. We would foster pets for people experiencing domestic violence. Um, but then I quickly realised that there's obviously a whole range of crises that people go through. Essentially, one of our main programs is to foster pets for people going through any sort of crisis situation, which means that they don't have to surrender their pets or even worse, sometimes these pets end up euthanised. It's been absolutely a privilege to be a part of the Hometown Heroes campaign. Like We've actually expanded our vet crisis program. We've reached more supports with, around food donations and just allowing us to help so many people get the emergency vet care they need. Pets are really our main support. They're a family unit and pets should be included into people's safety plans, people's wellbeing plans. And it's so important to both the, the human and the animal's wellbeing to, to not sever that bond, I guess, and, and to stay together. I'm Joelle Wheeler and I'm a riding coach and the equine coordinator and a committee member for our centre. Horsepower started around 50 years ago. It was to provide equine based or horse based therapeutic interactions and riding for people living with diverse abilities. You get to be out in the fresh air, you get to be with living animals that have a brain of their own, but you make a connection and you're making that connection with them and it's a relationship. It means a lot to be involved in the Hometown Heroes campaign because of the support that it brings to all our centres. The donations from the Petspiration Foundation have been used to buy feed for the whole herd, specialised feed for those that need a little bit extra, saddle fit, making sure that our gear fits the horses correctly, and massage and dental therapy to make sure that they're healthy inside and out. This year is Horsepower Australia's 50th year in WA, and we're just continuing to grow our programs, but they're more than just about going for a ride. It's about health and wellness for all ages. I would like to thank the team at Petstock for their amazing work in raising awareness and funds for Pets of the Homeless and we're very grateful for the support from their customers for their generosity in their donations. It's been amazing for, for people to be able to come into a store or buy online and, and actually purchase items that, that support great causes. Um, we couldn't, couldn't do this without all your support. Thank you to Petstock and all the customers that donated to the Hometown Heroes campaign.